you know the situation could arise where you may have to do business with the Congress again. Would you? Would you, in a political sense, if you had to keep the BJP out of power, uh, are they politically untouchable for you? No, it's not a question of untouchability. We'll do business with all parties. But that business will be circumscribed by the nature of the mandate. So, so no, nothing with the Congress is ruled out, okay? Can we put it like that, if the situation arose? Well, the Congress party will have to decide whether it wants to, after the verdict in the elections, whether it will play a role in seeing that there is a stable, secular government at the center. And what I said is, our slogan in the manifesto is, an alternative secular government. That, 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 that's interesting, because see, you're not entirely ruling anything out. And well, I mean, we can do business with them, ask them to support an alternative secular government. Okay. It is, it okay, is so possible. It is possible? Not? I don't rule it out. Mr. Jyoti Basu, of course, uh, once had the chance to be the first Communist Prime Minister of India, and then he famously went on to say that that was a historic blunder. In retrospect, do you agree with him? No, in our party we discussed the matter after the 96 uh, decision. And in 1998, our party Congress weighed all the factors and came to the conclusion that we took a correct decision not to join the government at that time. So it wasn't a historic blunder? Well, it was not a blunder, but uh, we learned from that experience and we also discussed in 2004 uh, and our party was near unanimous that we cannot join a Congress-led government.